right, welcome everybody to another virtue hearing show, whether you're on the podcast, Instagram, Facebook, we're coming to you every Wednesday and producing content to give you, uh, you know, to make you more knowledgeable about hearing aids and your hearing health. I got my friend here, uh, Dr. of Audiology, Gary Dorf, a representative from Otacon here in uh, the Southern California area. Uh, my name's Christopher Medina and I am the hearing aid dispenser here at Virtue Hearing, and I am your hearing care professional. So, uh, let's get into it. Uh, so we got Gary here, and um, he's gonna let us know what's Oticon's philosophy and development as far as, you know, the Oticon products and how uh, their technology is advancing and how they're doing here in the in the hearing aid, hearing aid space, right? Yeah, well, Chris, first of all, Really, thank you for inviting me. This oh, is, yeah. I must admit, this is a first for me. <laughs> uh, so uh, hopefully not the last, because I really do like this uh, presentation and, and the way you're marketing your business. So okay. uh, kudos to you. Uh, thank you. For thank being you. the first time I'm doing this. So uh, it's exciting, it. uh, a forum, obviously, and, and certainly social media is the way we recognize that we need to be out and about and talking to people about hearing health care and hearing loss. So yes, I, yes, I really definitely. do appreciate uh, the time and the energy you put oh, into this. I appreciate you too, Gary. And I love the little garage setup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a little something, right? But yeah, that's pretty cool. A little start off. It's fun. So anyway, uh, uh, the point you're asking me initially is Oticon. Oticon has been a company uh, producing hearing aids for over 100 years. So they, wow. they're pretty much familiar with the gig at this particular Definitely. point. Uh, but Oticon's philosophy when dealing with hearing impaired is, is to really develop technology and develop products that really make sense to the consumer that is hearing impaired. The key components that we look at is, you know, number one, how do we provide processing that feeds the brain? Because the brain ultimately is the process that handles all the incoming speech, uh, how it separates speech, uh, how it recognizes speech, uh, and understands speech. The ear is the conduit, but we still have to design really, really good technology to be able to make sure that we provide the consumer with a hearing loss uh, as good sound quality as possible and provide them the ability to hear in noisier environments because ultimately that is the place where most patients uh, have difficulty. So uh, okay. it's in Oticon's DNA to make sure those technologies are designed so we can improve the life of those individuals with hearing loss. All right, excellent, excellent. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so as you can see, you know, you know, the ears are a part of hearing, but your brain is what processes, of course, all the incoming signals, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. All right. So it's really, really important for us to understand how the brain functions in relation to the auditory uh, cortex and to the ears itself in order to process all this information that we hear. Uh, people with hearing impairment struggle in a lot of environments. Uh, they can struggle in simple environments, uh, complex listening environments. You know, you go into a restaurant or you're sitting down to a, uh, a wedding or a big event like that. Competing noise can be problematic. So we needed to look at technology that was able uh, to manage those individual situations as best as we can. Excellent, okay. All right, so uh, I mean, Gary, tell us what makes uh, Otacon different and unique managing hearing loss when it comes to us, the hearing aids. Okay, so so certainly uh, as of today, uh, digital hearing aids are the format that every company utilizes. Digital hearing aids became available in 1996. Okay. And to talk about Oticon's history, I think it's important to understand where they have come from and where they are today. So Oticon in 1996, in 1996, correct, yes. was actually the first company to introduce a, a digital hearing aid called the Oticon. Uh, the Digifocus, sorry, the, digi uh, the Digifocus, okay. and that was the first digital hearing aid on the market, and then all the other companies over the next several years followed suit. So for 20 years, up until 2016, most companies were doing the same thing. What we were trying to do was to focus uh, the amplification on patients in front of us, because most often when you talk to an individual, people are in front of you. So what we wanted to do is analyze that environment and say, okay, we're gonna provide most of the gain to people in front of us and minimize some of the gain around us. Now, that was the way every company managed it for 20 years. 
But in 2016, Oticon came up with a newer technology that was really a paradigm shift in our industry. And it was really about opening up that field a little bit. Because if you really look at normal hearing, Chris, normal hearing people have the ability to decide who and where they want to listen to. Yes. But the technology of that 1996 to 2016 era was really focused on front-facing information, speech information. Okay. So with the open chip, which we uh, refer to as the VLOX chip, uh, it was a chip that really set a different standard in, in hearing aid care and hearing, uh, hearing processing. It allows now a much more open feel, so if I'm listening to somebody in front of me, but yes. somebody calls my name from the side, I have access to that information, so I know to turn to that individual. Now that's what we refer to as more natural, more normal hearing. Okay. So with the open process, we were able to <coughs> design something that was totally unique and totally un uh, uh, different than all the other companies were doing at that point. It is a heavily processed, it is a heavily patented process, so we've obviously protected that uh, technology for our use at this particular point. Okay, excellent, excellent. So that's, that's in the open sound uh, navigator, right? Correct. That's open. Correct. Okay. So we, we refer to that technology as open sound navigator. And that really took off in 2016. But now, three years later, 2019, we've actually updated that processing chip. And now we refer to the chip as a VLOX S chip. And it's oh, really yes. been able to enhance the open, the functionality of the open sound navigator because now we're able not only to continue that process of having an open field, okay, okay but we've also provided a very, very aggressive noise reduction management system and a, a really special feedback management system called Open Sound Optimizer. The benefit to your patients are that they have more access to more information and more access to the speech cues that are necessary for them to hear and understand speech, particularly in difficult listening environments. Okay. And that's where the noise reduction comes in. So again, we go back to our DNA. It's about sound quality, it's providing the patient the things they need most, which is really good sound quality and really significant noise reduction in order for them to hear in difficult environments. Okay, excellent, excellent. And um, you know, for those of you who don't really know about the technology and when it comes, when it comes to choosing hearing aids, you know, uh, every hearing manufacturer has different levels of technology. For example, Oticon has, right now they have the Open S open S platform, but they have a one, two, and three. Is that right, Gary? Correct, correct. So okay. we, we not only cater to the demands of the technology, but we're also realistic in understanding that, you know, we, we, we do need different tiers to help different patients afford our technology. So as Chris mentioned, uh, we're not the, obviously the only company that offers something like this, uh, but we tier the technology based upon uh, the amount of information and support we can give the in individual. So that is correct, Chris. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, and then whenever you guys come in for, you know, a hearing consultation, we'll go over your, your uh, lifestyle needs and that will help us determine what technology level you would actually need. So, um, you know, today's technology offers Bluetooth connectivity, rechargeability, discreetness, comfort, you know, there's some products that are more comfortable than others. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what Oticon has to offer in that area? Sure, so Oticon <clears throat> uh, has developed technology, obviously alongside all the other things we've talked about, there are benefits to the newer technology. So one of the things that we offer is, is a, what we refer to as a 2.4 gigahertz and we use Bluetooth low energy to access some of the other devices that you might use on a daily basis. Okay. So we do know television particularly and, and cell phone usage, really, really important components of anybody's life, but even so more important for those individuals with hearing impairment because yes. they struggle in those environments and a lot of times that's, that's their social activities for the day. So yes. what Oticon has is direct streaming of a TV device. You plug this TV device, which is a small little box, into your TV and it streams directly into your hearing aids. So basically you can control the volume, you can control all the sound quality in the hearing aid itself. So if you're sitting around with your kids or your grandkids and they're making a lot of noise, you can actually stream the TV directly to your hearing aids and actually reduce or even mute the sound around you to improve what we always refer to as a signal to noise ratio. 
You always want to make sure that your speech information is above the noise information. Same thing when you're talking on a phone. We can stream music to your phone directly. We can stream uh, your TV to a your phone. And you can have conversations without the, uh, the significant background noise. So this is really advanced technology and Oticon has embraced that many, many years ago. So at this point, we're developing into new strategies in that form. Excellent. Excellent. So, you know, the Blue Oticon offers uh, Bluetooth connectivity in their custom options. Uh, we're looking at a half shell here. So the half shell and the ITE are the ones that are going to have the Bluetooth connectivity direct uh, to iPhone and, uh, you know, your, your Bluetooth accessories. Uh, as well as your receiver in the canal style and these are actually sitting on a charging base so the receiver in the canal style has a rechargeability option gets up to 24 hours of usage uh, usage per charge which is great you know yeah, um, and the benefit to that especially as we age you know dexterity can become a problem and the batteries need to be kept small in order to drive the processing in the hearing aid. So this allows you to function the hearing aid totally without having to change batteries. You put the hearing aid in the charger, shuts it off, gives it a full charge within a three hour period. Uh, so you're fully charged for the day, as Chris said, up to 24 hours. And then when you're done with it, you just put it back in, it recharges. So it makes it very, very simple and it's really a convenience uh, for a lot of patients who don't want to fuss with batteries. So important, right. an, an important cog in the wheel for us as well. Definitely. And, you know, if Bluetooth connectivity is not, a, uh, you know, something that's important to you and you want something a little more discreet, they do have uh, invisible in the canal styles. Uh, it's going to be their smallest hearing option. Of course, we do have to evaluate your hearing to see if you would be a, a good candidate for this instrument. But they do have invisible in the canal uh, an invisible in the canal option. Um, but yeah, uh, that's uh, that's that's good stuff, Gary. Anything else you would like well, to include about Oticon? I, I would like uh, to just talk to your uh, audience that it is really, really important to make sure that you consider your hearing as healthcare. You know, there's a lot of options in order to get services uh, for your hearing health care, to get hearing tests elsewhere, but it's really, really important that you recognize that your hearing health is tied to a lot of other concerns. Uh, there was a study in 2013, which I always make sure I talk about, done at Johns Hopkins University in, uh, Roch, uh, in Baltimore. Uh, and basically what they did, they did a study that looked at cognitive decline and hearing loss. Yes. And it was shown that patients with hearing loss that weren't doing anything to improve their hearing loss, they had a greater cognitive decline as they aged. Now we all know, I'm one person included in that mix, <laughs> yeah. uh, we recognize that cognition is going to decline as we age. That's just a normal process. Definitely. But for those people with hearing loss that don't do anything about their hearing loss by getting a hearing aid or getting a complete hearing evaluation, their cognitive decline is going to be a little bit sharper than those individuals that do something. So it's really important, don't think of your hearing loss just as, well, I could get along with it, or I hear my family okay, or I just ask them to repeat. It really has a bigger concern and a bigger picture that yeah. you really have to concern yourself with. So I, I encourage all of you out there who even thinks that you do have a hearing loss or, or, or don't feel you have much of a hearing loss, please contact Chris and have him uh, set up an appointment. So if nothing else, he could give you a baseline <coughs> hearing test so you could be assured that you're you're either not a hearing aid candidate or medically maybe we need to do something so really it, best yeah. word of advice i could give you is get your hearing checked it's yeah important. yeah and uh, for those you know who always are watching our content listening our content you guys know that are here at virtual hearing we always offer a free hearing test consultation and a, a 14-day trial of our hearing aids and Oticon is one of those manufacturers that do provide us with demos so that you are able to experience how life-changing it can be before you make an investment. So, uh, you know, if you're interested, you know someone who's interested, or you know someone who's struggling with hearing loss, contact us and uh, we could do a hearing test. We'll get you, uh, you know, set it on these demos, these open demos to get you feeling, you know, what it's, what it's like to open up your world, right? Because that's what open is about, right? It's, it's opening your world, reducing noise, 
getting past noise, like uh, Gary said, signal to noise ratio. We want to make sure that you're hearing speech above noise. That way you're able to communicate extremely well with your friends, family, even if you're in a noisy environment like a restaurant and so forth. Correct? It's, it's all about quality of life. Uh, truthfully, I, I have patients in their 90s. I've even had patients in their hundreds yeah. uh, that say to me, you know, I, I want to live life the fullest. And if I'm not hearing well, well, then the quality of life is diminished. Definitely. So understand that hearing loss affects that in, in uh, a lot of different ways. So make sure you get out and come see this young man. Yeah, yeah. Right, and young if man, you have and they'll take good care of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you have any questions, post in comments, leave us a review. You know, if you have a very hard question, I'll reach out to to Gary here and uh, we'll try to get you guys uh, the, uh, all the information that you need. And, and again, you guys want to uh, come on in, we'll do a free hearing test, we'll do the trial and get you guys going to a better quality of life. So thank you, Gary. I appreciate you coming. My man, Chris. You know, good uh, times. You know, yeah, yeah, good times giving you guys some information. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll bring Gary back soon and he'll give us some more information on probably their newer platform. So take care, guys. And thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you.